Assemblyman Chavez, you are one of the first Republicans to announce plans to run for the 49th Congressional District. Can you talk to us about how you arrived at the decision so quickly? Well, it really wasn't that quickly. Um, we have heard for a number of months that uh, Congressman Issa may be stepping down. And so we had, having served in the district since uh, 2001 um, and having friends, we started just talking to people and getting ready to go. So yesterday at 6 a.m. when I got a tweet that said, hey, uh, ICE is out of this race, he's retiring, I told my team, I said, well, it's here, we planned for it, let's go do it. And so uh, we're in the race, and the reason we're in the race is because, as you know, the 49th Congressional District is really driven by uh, Camp Pendleton. The, uh, we have a lot of military there, and foreign affairs in front of our mind, uh, the sequester and the budgets in front of our mind, um, additionally, when you look at the district, uh, we have a lot of agriculture, we have a lot of tourism industry, and the issue of uh, immigration reform is in the forefront of the district. So those issues there, and the, the third issue would be Santa Onofre, since it's within the same 49th Congressional District, with Santa Onofre closing and the investment into uh, energy and renewables and is also in front of everybody's mind. So those things, the Department of Defense, the um, energy issues, and immigration is why I jumped in the race. So, Assemblyman Chavez, as part of your announcement, you said it's time we come together and focus on progress, not partisan politics. Some might say that's easier said than done. As a newcomer, how would you plan to go about that? Actually, I'm not a newcomer. Uh, as you know, California is the sixth largest economy in the world. I deal, uh, I have a reputation for five years in the legislative body to deal with in my party to bring in new ideas, but also to work across the aisle. And so it doesn't matter if it's uh, working on education reform here in California, which is a big thing I've worked on, or taking care of veterans, which I've done, or it has to do with uh, adult education or career technical education. Those are issues that uh, the Republican Party had not normally taken on as part of their platform, but through my effort, they have been. And so I've been doing that for over five years. And so uh, I don't consider myself a newcomer. In fact, if you look at everybody who's even anticipating running, I'm the only one who's actually has demonstrated that capability over the past five years. And District 49 is listed as a 2018 target by the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. And as you know, in 2016, Doug Applegate, a Democrat, came close to a victory. Any concerns about being a Republican candidate in a district that leans Republican, but many consider is becoming more progressive? Well, I, I saw Doug Applegate some years ago in a holiday parade, and I noticed his ground, uh, ground support, and I told my staff, I said, we need to watch this guy, see what he's doing. I, I give him credit for running a grassroots campaign because I run him all the time. So uh, I'm very comfortable uh, putting my military career forward, as Applegate has, but I'm also very comfortable putting my grassroots support it together because I have won that district election since uh, my first election in 2002. When I retired from the Marine Corps in 2001, uh, I got involved in politics. I've been elected in a leadership role since then, where, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing Applegate has done is he's lost a race. So he's going to run again in 2018 and he's going to lose two races. I'm going to win this race.